Hi zombies and happy Wednesday. Uh, leading up to the 4th of July weekend, very, very fun. And I'm telling you, the thrift gods were smiling on me again today because I found not only two more uh, Les Baxters that I don't have, but uh, a Cambridge Audio um, amplifier. And uh, I needed, I did need an amplifier. I um, was using the Kenwood, and again, as with the other one that I had, one speaker channel was cutting out. I actually started to think that um, it was my bows that weren't working properly. One of the bows was bad because it was happening with, it happened with three amplifiers so far. One, one uh, connector, one speaker connection was bad. Uh, but today I found that um, Cambridge Audio, beautiful, mint, I mean, this thing is like new, and um, I brought it. I plugged it in at the store. You know, everything lit up. Every, you know, it was there was power to it. You never know if the speaker connectors work until you get home. And when I brought it home, I hit it all. I hit it with uh, deoxid all over. You know, every connector that I was going to use, and plugged it in, and perfection, perfection. Perfection. I mean, I did a video of it in particular for you, but the video messed up. I used the, the uh, small camera, and it just it it messed up. I, I had a it didn't work. But anyway, I hooked the uh, the, the uh, techniques that was made for J.C. Penney's with the uh, Ortofon cartridge to that and the bows, and it is perfect. Um, I still use, of course, the, I had the Kenwood hook to that, but it didn't work. It, it was not working. One channel was going dead every time I tried to play it. But anyway, before I go on and on and on, I'm so excited about that. And, and if you know um, Cambridge Audio, it's high-end stuff. I mean, you're talking about big bucks. I paid $6.99 for that thing, and it is perfect. I think the, uh, I remember once I bought a Techniques over there, a Techniques amp, and they had it marked 1999 because they knew the name. They knew Tech, you know, I don't know, these little Spanish guys, I, most Spanish guys do know their audio really well, but the guys that price over there, 20 bucks for this Techniques that had a roach in the window. I, I can't even, a dead roach in the window. It was unbelievable. This one, this beautiful and obviously mint um, play, uh, piece, six ninety nine. I was insane. The thing weighed a ton. I was like, I had it under my arm like a crazy person. I was like, nobody else is getting this thing. But uh, I have a ton of stuff. It's playing right now, in fact, through the bows. And you know, it's so funny because uh, you don't have to even. You turn it up to two, three, and it like blows you out of the room. So I can't even imagine cranking the bows. I think my neighbors would move or something. But anyway, I got a lot to show you, and I got to shut up. So let's go. Yesterday I went by Craig, and uh, Craig will be on vacation from Saturday to next Thursday. He's going to Bermuda, so he won't be around. But I got some great stuff from him. I got so many uh, 45s. It's going to take me a long time, and I got a lot of stuff to show. So I'm thinking, because I'm so chatty today, I might have to do a second, a two-parter, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, let's start. Craig, uh, Jungle Dream, Los Indios Tabajaras. I love Los Indios Tabajaras, as you know. But this is a, a beautiful, you know, 45. You know, I don't see 45s with theirs very often. I have a lot of their LPs, but not the 45s. Uh, again, Los Indios Tabajaras, uh, the third man theme. How fun. I love that. We got uh, Lefty Frizzell, Traveling Blues. I love Lefty Frizzell. 
And of course, another, oh, a, a nice Columbia, uh, Lefty for Sale, Confused. Very fun. Uh, we got a whole lot of love, Led Zeppelin, beautiful Atlantic. We got, oh, this is, you know, I love the stones. And since I'm reading the um, uh, Life by Keith Richards right now, which I cannot put down. Sometimes sometimes I don't go to sleep till 12, 1 o'clock. After you know, I go to, go to bed, intending to go to bed early. But once I pick up this book, I can't put it down. I wind up still reading at 1 o'clock in the morning. I just, it's just, I mean, if you guys have not read Life by Keith Richards, grab it. You have to read it. He is so down to earth. I mean, look where he is and look what he's done. He is the most down to earth person that you ever want to. And the book is like, he's talking to you, you know, personally. It's so fabulous. Just, just magical. I love him anyway. I have loved him forever. And, okay, and that's this is what brought that to mind. <laughs> Rolling Stones, Fool to Cry. Fool to Cry is such a beautiful stone song. Love it. Okay, now, I got a ton of Baxters. I got a, a nice old AS Records, uh, Girl on the Boulevard and La La La, Les Baxters with 101 Strings. Very fun. Because you know he did a couple of those 101 Strings records. We got uh, Capital Promo, The Lonely Whistler, and Ruby Lips, Baxter. We got The Poor People of Paris, obviously a, a well-known Baxter, and a theme from Helena Troy, Capital. Capital Promo, The Invisible Boy, and I Never Had a Dream Like This Before, Les Baxter. These are all Baxters now. And you know, something I wanted to show Raymond, you know, I don't know if I'm, well, here, let me just go on. Dream Rhapsody and um, Midnight on the Cliffs promo Baxter. We have When and If You've Forgotten Me, capital, beautiful. Uh, Dance of the Flutes and No More Goodbyes, Baxter, capital. And Longing for You and Sarah Kelly from Plum Nelly, capital. Very nice. Uh, Melodia Loca and Foreign Intrigue, Liz Baxter, beautiful. Another promo, Normandy, uh, Normandy on both sides. Okay, then we got Yours and Flute Salad, Song of the Bayou and Monica. We got love songs from Houseboat and Lily Laguna. But what I wanted to show something that 